Hello and welcome Gemini to your December 2023 horoscope. My name is Jeff here with you at Raise Your Vibration TV to bring you the cosmic weather forecast for the month. So welcome Gemini. We're going to do things a little bit differently, kind of changing it up. We're going to be doing a lot of changing up here in the coming months. So stick around for that. It's going to be interesting. But what I find more interesting, Gemini, is this astrology forecast for you. Let's take a look at your chart. The sun is traveling through your seventh house with Mars and is making really great harmonious aspects at the beginning of the month. This is going to be a huge focus, Gemini, on relationships of all kinds. How you give and receive love may be a challenge. The challenge for you this month is to balance out what you give and what you receive from other people. You're a giver. There's no doubt about that. Okay. But what we're trying to do is we don't, we don't define our reciprocated energy based on what we give. And I know that this is the month, you know, of giving, of course it is, but let's not overextend ourselves. You know, you'll, you'll be in great harmony to do it. You have the, the energy, the positive energy with you to work on these situations. But I think your challenge is going to be, do I give more and expect to receive that and it's not reciprocated? That's one thing that could be forcing you to get some perspective because Venus, even though it's in your fifth house and it's all about love and it's in its own sign in Libra in a fellow air sign, which is harmonious, it's square Pluto, and it's asking you to get perspective, to find a more spiritual approach to this. You know what I mean? Could be a lot of sexual tension and energies too, you know? So there's a lot of things at play here. Some of you Geminis are going to feel with this Mars square Saturn, um, problems with people at work, authorities, stuff like that. We've got a lot of planets at the top of the chart. So we could be overwhelmed with a lot of energies going on outside of us. So you want to make sure that you have that equal balance and you speak your truth this month too. That's another theme. All right, let's move forward and look at what's going on astrologically for December. So December 1st, the planet of communication, your ruler, is moving into an earth sign. So we need to be more grounded in our communications Again, I said communications are always important for a Gemini, but we're gearing up for this retrograde that's happening on December 13th. So you want to make sure that anything that you need to do, get papers, con contracts signed, anything like that, get it done early in the month and not towards the mid because Mercury is going to be asking you to revise those plans. We'll get more on that later. December 4th, the planet of love is moving into Scorpio. So Venus will be moving out of your fifth house and into your sixth. This is getting passion and desire. This is where you're going to be moving through your daily routine with a little bit more oomph. You know what I mean? December 6th, Neptune, the planet of illusion and inspiration and spirituality goes direct. And it's been like that since June. So if you've had any issues that just don't seem like they're moving forward and it seems very foggy, like what's going on with this situation? I think after December 6th, you're actually going to be in a, in a much more better perspective with Venus. I mean, with uh, Neptune going direct, it's definitely going to give you uh, an aha moment. You know, every time I see Neptune going direct, the veil is lifted now we have this new moon happening on the 12th in Sagittarius. We'll talk more about that later. It's actually going to be a good one for you. December 13th, your ruler goes retrograde. So, you know, again, communication breakdowns may happen for you. Then we've got December 21st. The sun's moving into Capricorn. So now we're moving more into an earth energy. This is when, you know, it feels like we hibernate. This is when winter actually really sets in. This is the winter solstice. And it's a, one of the four major points on the calendar that are good to go ahead. And this is why we have Christmas. 
on the 25th, it's to express your gratitude towards the universe. And December 23rd, your ruler is going to be moving back into Sagittarius. So again, we're going to be revisiting these communication breakdowns or issues that we experienced in November. December 26th, the full moon is in Cancer. When the moon is in Cancer, it's a powerful full moon. Full moons bring things to light. We will talk about exactly where the new moon and the full moon are happening in your chart this month. Then December 29th, energy shifts after that full moon, after Christmas. And then Venus moves into Sagittarius. That's a very passionate energy right there. Mm, very good. Venus will be moving into your seventh house soon, too. So that's gearing up for the new year. So Geminis could be falling in love, getting a, a new relationship. I'm going to tell you right now, every single person this New Year's is going to have a very good New Year's. December 30th, Jupiter goes direct, the planet of abundance and opportunities and forward movement. Because it's been going backwards, we haven't seen much forward movement. We're going to see a lot. All right, let's talk about the new moon. The new moon is going to be taking place in your seventh house. So if you have any uh, aspected points or anything towards 20 degrees in Sagittarius in your chart, that will give you a little bit more info on how this new moon is going to affect you. But this is going to be all kinds of relationships coming to light. And building relationships too. For some of you, I see that fate stepping in. You're going to be in the right place at the right time. So if you do get invited to a holiday party, take the invitation, Gemini. It's going to be a very social time for you. All right. So relationship issues, new moon, new opportunities for you to move forward. Then we have the full moon. The full moon is going to be taking place in your second house of income, self-worth. So the issues are going to be brought to light in this, on this day or around that time. You can feel the energy building up, especially, you know, Christmas. It could be a very emotional time for you. It could be a very satisfying time to you, for you. And with it happening in your second house, this could be money coming in. This could be gifts of money, something like that. But what it also is, is how you, what you really value. This Christmas, once we get to the calendar view, is going to be a very profound spiritual Christmas for everybody. So congratulations on that aspect. But the full moon is definitely going to bring things to light about finances, your self-worth, those kind of things. Presence, all of that, you may be, you know, big present happening there. Who knows? Now let's talk about Mercury retrograde. Anytime Mercury goes retrograde, it is not a good time to go in for surgery, uh, to sign contracts, start a business, start a YouTube channel, anything like that. It's a time to reassess things. I just put re in front of any word, and that's what you do, like value, revalue, think, rethink, you know, um, communicate, recommunicate, if that's a word. <laughs> what you have to do is things can break down, mechanical problems, back up your computers, electronic devices, that kind of thing. You know, it's kind of like, Mercury retrograde, when that happens, that energy is kind of like the gremlin of the Zodiac. I just watched Gremlins the other day. <laughs> Man, I loved that movie when I was a kid, but when I watched it the other day, I was like, what the hell? But anyway, that's the way you could look at Mercury, Mercury retrograde. And it's for a three-week period, so make sure you do all your stuff before because, like I said, January 1st, it's like a breath of fresh air with all these two heavy hitter planets finally moving out of retrograde. All right, let's pick out the best days for Gemini. A lot of Mercury activity going on. The first of the month looks good. Things moving forward for you. We have, again, Neptune going direct and the moon being in Libra. That's a fellow air sign. That's a good time too. This weekend may be a little challenging, the 9th through the 10th. And then we have a very nice aspect happening right before the new moon, which gives you an opportunity. This could be you communicating with somebody, meeting somebody, if you're single, that kind of thing. Um, we got Mercury retrograde happening after that. 
Um, let's see. The 18th looks good for speaking opportunities, getting opportunities done. The same thing with the 20th. You're getting things done this week, Gemini. Okay. Maybe a little challenging, but make a list. Reevaluate that list. Remember, we're in Mercury retrograde. So think it through. Think it through. Uh, we have a lot of Earth heavy energy on the 21st. That is the winter solstice. So happy winter solstice to everybody. Uh, good. Then this is probably the best weekend for everybody. The 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th. The moon's going to be in your sign. The sun is going to be sextile Saturn. There's no more restrictions. Good relationships with males, father figures, that kind of thing. Venus makes a beautiful harmonious aspect to Neptune, the planet of inspiration, religion. It's, it's a beautiful day. That's a beautiful day right there. And then we have that full moon happening in Cancer. So then it's on and popping. We got this energy ramping up towards the new year. And Gemini, what a, what a year it's been and what a good year it's going to be for you coming up. We'll be talking about that in great length soon. I'm going to be putting out a 2024 forecast for you. So Gemini, relationships of all kinds, they're either going to level up or they're going to go away. It all depends on how you look at them. I want you to really focus on balance in relationships. There's boundaries. Don't overshare. Don't overgive. Make sure your communications are spot on this month and clear any negative energy for the new year coming up because once Christmas hits, it's going to be moving fast. And I want you to be able to navigate that with ease and grace. All right, Gemini, many blessings to you and yours. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Watch your tarot reading for this month. Also, out in tandem with this, check out the new weekly tarot reading for your sign. I mean, every week is covered in the month. You're welcome. That's my Christmas present to you. And don't forget watching your timeless love tarot reading. All right, Gemini, it's been a pleasure. Have a great holiday and I will see you soon.